Carl and Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbanging, live to bhbl.com for sure. And it's They Made What into a TV series. It's Viva Piñata, filled with fun. Season 2, episode 16, The Wrong Stuff and Piñata Metamania, but all one word. So you got set fast. Piñata, piñata, see that's good up already. Piñata Metamania. Say, can you do it? Piñata, Fast. Piñata Metamania. Aired May 25th, 2008 on YTV. Two segments, as always, you know how this goes by now. God almighty, how many of these have we bloody done? We've still got quite a few to get through. It's segment one, the wrong stuff. The times, they are a-changing. The tradition of smashing pinatas has existed since the dawn of man. And now they're going to space. Hudson is going to space. As a space station has ordered pinata, and he is the finest they have. Wicked opening. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is going on at space station? Weird as hell that they want yep. a pinata, but I was like, this is different. Is I'm down, different, I'm down. Yeah. Hudson is launched and heads to the moon base Alpha, but makes a Star Wars joke when he realizes it's not a moon. It's a space station in the shape of Pester's head. Outstanding. <laughs> That's not a moon. Funny one, yeah. Yeah. Thinking the party is over because the rope tugged, Langston tries to pull him back, but can't. Eventually, he and Les pull the rope back and find a ransom letter from Pester. So it was all a very elaborate Pester trap. He wants candy, otherwise they'll never get Hudson back. They've gone full Star Wars now, though, as on the space station, Pesta even has a Darth Vader outfit on, although he's more like Dark Helmet from Spaceballs. Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah. I know it's, I, I don't think they meant it. I don't think they necessarily, I want to I wanna believe I hope they that the right is when, what we want to do is we want to do Darth Vader, but we want it to be more Dark Helmet mm. from Spaceballs. Have you seen Spaceballs? Oh, it's a fucking classic. It, yeah. Exactly, it's a classic. Classic. Pesto reveals the truth, and Hudson points out the complexity of his plan. But everything is cooler in space, which is true. And even Hudson's impressed. I do like this stuff, where it's yeah. just like, yeah, this is overly over the top and unnecessary, but it's cool because it's in space. And yeah. Hudson's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> On Pinar Island, a group are trying to come up with a plan to rescue him. Langston suggests they get a ship and go get him back, which Les happens to have, of course, even though Fergie gets the credit for finding it. Of course. of course. That's been a running joke. Yeah, yeah it's always the way. <laughs> they head into space and on the trailer Hudson. On Pester's ship, he and Hudson are getting a lot of mileage out of adding space to everything. The good guys attack Pester in comical ways and do some damage. Both sides come up with the same idea, beam aboard the other ship, and they both Star Trek it back and forth. This is more Star Trek it beaming back and forth. Yeah. But they end up doing it so many times, they end up mixing up their bodies in a horror scene moment. I do like when Viva Pinata just goes, we're going to scare you now. Yeah, completely. <laughs> All the beaming cuts the power though, and they start to get pulled into a black hole. The engines run on magnetism, and they have, and they have none. But you know who has a lot of magnetism? Hudson. Who gets hooked up to the ship and flirts with it, powering up and allowing him to start to escape the black hole's grasp. It's too powerful though, and as charming as Hudson is, they are pulled into the black hole. They find themselves in a reverse universe, and Paulie figures they should try flying into the white hole to get out. They need power though, and Franklin figures they can use reverse magnetism. Who has the most unattractive personality? Everyone looks at Fergie, but Pester, offended, takes the job, and true to form, he's awful. Uh, this is a good segment, I yeah, think. Yeah. They go through the white hole and return back to Pinata Island. Even Hudson and Pester are enjoying a drink together on the beach. Uh, the others try to put Fergie out, who was on fire from the crash landing. Brilliant. It's just really fucking silly, yep. fun, but utilises all the elements of Viva Piñata that's good and that we've grown to understand. Hudson's arrogance, Pester's over-the-top behaviour and idiocy, Hudson's uh, ability to be charming, hence the magnetism, and uh, avoiding all the party antics that we're not interested in yes, at yes. this stage of the show. It's making references to other things. It's fun. It's oh, a fun segment. Oh. I know the idea of the, the Star Wars, but, but uh, I, I couldn't get the whole, you know, a, a white hole. What is it? The, 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 the dwarf. I, 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 I think that, that, that might be too niche. I, 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 I know, think I it might be too niche. <laughs> you never know. I know. You it, never it, it, know. If it was, it'd be brilliant. That was. That someone on our Ryan team was a fan enough to throw mm. in a little reference going, well, only like one out of a hundred people will get this reference, yep. but those hundred, one person out of that hundred will thoroughly enjoy it. It's a good segment. Yeah. And that's all we ask for. At this stage, we get a segment that doesn't feel it's like length. It's 12 minute length. Turn I'm more than happy. Turn around, sir. Yeah, yeah, going back to the pre... Well, yeah, but I would say this is so much stronger. Yeah, 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 than, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, yeah. 
But let's see if segment two, Pinata Meter Mania, can hold up to it. You know those phone devices we see the Pinatas using every so often? What? Did we? Have we? First time. We? Uh, maybe previously, but yeah. like I know we've had. I know. I know they've kind of popped up like handheld things previously, but yeah. they've never been a focus. Well, they are going to be now, and they get a name. They're called pinata meters, and they control their lives slash give information to the pinatas. So this is doing some serious retconning mm. for this to work. We see Hudson's taking care of him and making him look his best. We see Fergie's telling him not to eat and go and meet Paulie at a show. It appears as though they rely on these things completely. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, fair. Uh, all the Pinatas are going to the movie theatre. I need to check their meters in. Who is the person responsible for this? Ella. And like, straight away I was like, well, this is a bad <laughs> idea. Because yeah. um, basically she keeps giving out the same ticket. Oh, you get a ticket, like lost property. You're yeah. giving something in or property, like you're checking ba a bag in or a coat in at a venue, and they give you a ticket to come and collect your item afterwards. But she gives out the same ticket to basically everyone. And after the show, everyone has the same number, so Ella just starts handing out meters. And I was like, okay, this could be fun. Yeah. Because they're all going to have different meters, which no doubt will have different requirements for them. And we begin. The next day, Fergie wakes up, and his meter starts speaking to him as though he's Hudson. Confused, Fergie follows its advice and it doesn't go well. What about Hudson? He's got Fergie's and it's basically told be very lazy, so he ends up going back to sleep. Pecky is seen and he's got Franklin's meter, resulting in a bad surfing accident. And here I was like, ah, oh, thank God. I was worried it was just going to do one or two of the major pinards and yeah. not do anyone else. But yeah, thankfully, no, it actually yeah. goes all over the island. Fergie ends up at the spa, scarred for his life, scared for his life, but he does come out looking fabulous, even if he does look more like Hudson. It even affects the cannonar, which keeps loading pinatas into the same tube. Why? Because it's now in the control of a worm, and it doesn't have the weight to push the button to launch the pinatas. All over the island, we see pinatas living their lives very differently because of their meters. All the noise gets the attention of Les, who looks out over the island and sees the madness. It's all fun and games, though, right? No, because the cannonar is being overloaded, and it will blow up if it doesn't stop. Stuck at home, because of his meter, Hudson is beginning to go mad again, and he's worried he's not popular anymore. Turning on the TV, he sees that Fergie has taken his place, although he's unaware that Fergie wishes he was anywhere but there. At these events, lead, all these events lead to Fergie being taken to Kenyatta, as the worm sets up an elaborate way to push the button. So it's now gone back towards Fergie being launched to a party. Yep. Yay. At the Desert Cafe, Simone is now working there and Les realises what's been happening and races across the island, replacing everyone's meter. Everyone now goes back to their normal lives, including Langston, who was pleased to see Fergie in the Cannonata's grasp. However, Fergie's meter informs him that he has a teeth drilling appointment, so he's freed and Langston swears he will get him eventually. Sure you will, Langston. Sure you will. The last, the last episode. Yeah. It has to be. Right. The pinatas are freed by Langston and they end up landing on Les. When he comes to, he sees them all cheering for Langston. Poor Les. And that's it. Segment two. Pinata meter mania. Uh, disappointing. Disappointing. Following the strength of the first segment, yeah, yeah. this one just had more potential for more wild antics. Yeah. But instead, we kind of got lumbered with Fergie the and party, party, party again. Just, somehow, it brought, brought, yeah. somehow it brought it all the way back round to Fergie going to a party again. You would have thought they would have, have learned it because, because their, their, their episodes are stronger when it, when it ain't the party stuff. I just don't think they have enough ideas. Thing, I just yeah. don't think they have enough ideas. Yeah. So yeah, here in episode 16, you've got one very strong segment and one not so strong segment. It's hit and miss, as it so often is. The wrong stuff and pinata meter mania. You got any thoughts on this? You know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.